Welcome back to Miami. Jim Cropfeld getting ready to jump aboard the Miss Budweiser Turbine in its first competitive heat. John Prevost out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. He'll be driving a Chevy-powered boat. This is George Johnson out of Seattle. One-year leave of absence, now back in the Unlimiteds, driving the Oboy Alberto, a Seattle-based boat. Todd Yarling heading out in the Pantry Pride. That boat based in Madison, Indiana. It's third year for Todd. In that particular boat, as you see, Chip Hanauer. And here's the Bud Turbine with that enclosed cockpit and F-16 canopy over Jim Cropfeld as he heads out for Heat 1A. A beautiful boat. They tested all fall and this spring, and now they're ready to go. And while we have the chance before Heat 1A, let's take a closer look at the drivers. First of all, Todd Yarling out of Madison, Indiana, driving the Pantry Pride. John Prevost, as we said, out of the great state of Louisiana, driving the Miss Burke Cruiser. George Johnson, again, out of Seattle in the Oboy Oberto, used to drive the Executone a couple years ago. Chip Hanauer, the defending world champion in the Miller American. And finally, Jim Cropfeld, the 84 world champion, driving the Bud Turbine. To refresh your memory, as you see the boats coming around the north turn for the start, this is the smallest course on the circuit, only a mile and two-thirds. You see the threatening clouds in the background, and there's Nancy Saddam, Jim Saddam's wife, who owns the boat on the right of your screen. And a great start for Todd Yarling in the Pantry Pride. George Johnson, the Oboy Alberto, a legal start. I believe George Johnson, though, has been black flagged because he was not up on a plane at the one-minute gun. We'll wait and give us a word. A great start, though, for Todd Yarling in lane number one in the Pantry Pride as he heads down the back chute. Again, a mile and two-thirds course. The Budweiser, the turbine coming up on the outside with Jim Crockfeld. Bernie Little watching on, wanting to get a victory here in his home state of Florida. But Todd Yarling giving it a great shot. This is Len Slider on the left, president of Pantry Pride, getting his first taste of unlimited hydroplane racing. And that boat right there is doing a job for him. Yarling holding on to first place, going into the north turn here on lap number one. The speeds will not be terrifically high here in Miami. It's awfully hot, plus a very small course. But you see Cropfield coming around the outside, very patiently chipping away at that lead of the Pantry Pride. You hear the crowd of better than 30,000 here in Miami's Marine Stadium. Good racing right now between Cropfield, the veteran, and Todd Yarling in his third year. Going in now to the south turn. Yarling now in a turbocharged Allison with a carburetor rather than fuel injected. Much more power than what they've had in the past with that turbocharged engine. This is John Prevost with a Chevy engine inside, the Miss Merck Cruiser. John, a great seven liter driver, coming up with the Unlimited. George Johnson still running, but we now understand he has been black flagged. The Bud Turbine coming around the turn. You see the air that goes underneath the boat that gives him that cushion of air for a good ride. Crockfeld inside the cockpit. There's Carol Hughes counting the laps with knots in that rope that she holds on to. Now you see the Bud and the Pantry Pride splitting apart to get past Prevost. Again, counting the knots on the rope to keep track of how many laps have taken place. Back to the Budweiser. A lot of testing with this boat. You won't recognize it from the back end. They have cut away the transom to allow more spillage of the air should the boat get out of attitude. A great safe boat for Jim Cropfeld to drive. Coming into that turn now, the Budweiser has taken over first place. Cropfeld out of Cincinnati, Ohio, bouncing around in that choppy south turn. Look at that. That has been one of the main concerns for the Budweiser crew is just how that boat turns. A little choppy. It's been bumping around like that, as a matter of fact, for the last three or four days. But when it comes to the straightaways, Cropfeld with great acceleration and qualified at 122 miles per hour, about five miles per hour off the course record in qualifying. Cropfeld in first place with the Budweiser turbine. John Prevost laid around the course now, but hoping to pick up some valuable points. Second place, Todd Yarling out of Madison, Indiana, in his third year on this particular boat, fourth year under Jim Saddam's ownership, and he's trying to keep that turbocharged Allison alive and pick up 300 points in second place. Great place to watch hydroplane racing, much closer here to the boats than you are normally in the other racing sites around the country. You can hear John Prevost, that Chevy engine in the black boat, the Miss Merck Cruiser. That's been a project of John's all alone, designing the boat, building it, and now he's running it. But the Budweiser in first place with Jim Cropfeld out of Cincinnati, Ohio. The crew hoping to get a victory here in Miami. They've won six of 15 races taking place down here in Florida. And they would love to pick one up here. They won in San Diego the last race of 1985. And Jim Cropfeld gets 400 points. Winner of Heat 1A in the Bud Turbine.
Second place will go to the man from Madison, Indiana, Tom Yarling. As he comes around the north turn, and he'll pick up 300 points. And again, we run four preliminary heats before the final. So with 300 points, he'll be sitting pretty. If he gets any points at all in the second go around of the preliminary heats, he'll be in good shape. Kenny Washer, the crew chief, with a headset on. The crew giving their all rights. Nancy Zidane, she's happy with the finish of Todd Yarling and the Pantry Pride. So Budweiser, 400 points and 300 points to Todd Yarling and the Pantry Pride. With an average speed of just over 100 miles per hour, Kropfeld again getting the 400 points, one for one for the day. Only two boats finishing. Let's go down to the Budweiser camp and a comment with Jim Hendrick. Ready, your first uh, victory in the first heat ever in this yeah. boat. Yeah, I was just congratulating Jim here. Uh, first time it's ever been in race competition, and uh, Miss Budweiser uh, did it, uh, the first one, so that means we're going to not lose any. Uh-oh, look out, Jim, what happened to your boat? I see you a big, big ding in it. Gosh, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't say anything until I get out, but I could tell I had a loss of power there, and I think that probably caused it. The, uh, you know, it's like a tuned stack back there, and I, uh, I don't know when it happened, but I could tell that it wasn't up to par. Okay, that's it from the Budweiser camp, Don. Oh. All right, let's let's talk with whoop, let's talk with Todd Yarning, second place. Nice way to start for the Pantry Pride. Oh yeah, this this is a long winter. You know, we we went from scratch and design and and built our own systems in the boat we figured there's got to be a better way well that's good Jim Sedam. well you went with the turbos now turbo allison oh, jim yeah, sedam we're, we're turboing with a carburetor most of the other turbo boats down here are fuel injected and when we get the bugs worked out of it we're going to chase the heck out of all of them great way to start 86. oh fantastic. yeah fantastic <laughs> and the people with pantry pride they've just really been a big help for us good. up next heat 1b